have 10 sisters and we live in this house. We argue about everything, clothes and the biggest thing, makeup. But today we are actually going to be sharing this makeup brush. Let's get started. All right, let's create my look. You might notice my voice sounds more raspy than usual. I was at a game last night and I completely lost my voice. Don't use your voice to scream if you already sound like a guy half of the time, so. <laughs> I really shorten my skincare and makeup routine. I just use this once again. Take your eye cream, put that on my ear. And I don't want people coming at me saying, I'm applying it gently. Oh my gosh, are you supposed to use two like I don't care. <laughs> it still works. <coughs> I sound like I uh, can't do this anymore. I can't do it. <laughs> But I've shortened my makeup routine too. I use this Kosas. I'm tan on my neck, as you can see, like all around. But um, it has been coming off my face, so I'm not as tan as the rest of my body, but it's fine. I can just blend. I think we should tell a story about my dance. So preference is a dance. It's like homecoming, but more like less extravagant, where you just wear like kind of just more chill dresses, not like bling bling, but you know, pretty. And practically what happened was I went with this guy that I've been talking to for a month. Okay. It was so fun. This guy is literally, he was so funny. He was so nice. He was really quiet though. You wouldn't think that I was like a quiet guy, right? Because I'm a yapper. I love yapping. But anyways, practically what happened was I asked him like a month in advance. What? It was crazy. I didn't want anybody else to ask him, you know? But the thing is, nobody was gonna ask him in general. Practically what happened was when I asked him, it was great. He started texting me and we were getting along. And then the dance came around. We went snowboarding for us. Yeah, took an expense. And I got him a Christmas gift and everything. Wow. Yeah, I I liked this boy a lot. Practically, it didn't end well. He was being quiet more than usual, and we had to be in the same car for an hour on the ride back. And um, I texted him, I said, hey, what's going on? Like, what just happened? I had a feeling he didn't like me anymore. And so I said, you just not like me, like, what's going on? And he goes, I was gonna wait to tell you after the dance. Say what? How long have you not liked me for? Wait till after the dance? Was How long have you been keeping the secret from me? I felt terrible at this point. I felt like I forced him into something, but he was the one that like said that we were talking, you know? But that's not the worst part. Worst part, it, yes, I know this isn't my shade. It's to help me look tanner and match my neck. Um, it doesn't stop there. We were in the same car when he told me this. We were texting each other back and forth. And I was like, okay, I was like, that's fine. Thank you for telling me, like, for being honest. Instead of leading me on, you know, gotta be grateful for the little wins in life. So I was a little angry though. I was like angry for 10 minutes. And then I was like, wait, let's not make this weird for everybody else in the car. Cause we were in a group. And I was with one of my really good friends. She, she didn't really like the situation was going on. Cause she automatically knew she was on the ass what's up. <sighs> Man. Her reaction was priceless. But with all that being said, after that, I'm gonna skip over a few parts. Um, nothing important. I got to my house after, got dropped off. My friend was with me because she slept over at my house and we were just gonna get ready there together. I felt like I did something wrong, but I didn't know for sure what it was. So I was like, oh, kinda want some closure on this. Like, it was a month, like nothing crazy but you know like i really like this kid so i was just wondering so i asked him i was like hey is there anything i did wrong like i just want to know so we can clear things up and just you know and he goes i just i thought i liked your personality but i guess i don't say what are you serious my I, I already came home in a really upset mood and my parents, they were gone on this trip or whatever. And so I didn't get to see my mom and my dad like for the past week and a half. So I was like, I wanted to go say hi to them, but I was already in a bad mood and I was like, well, I miss them. And so I went and I told my mom what happened. She was like, oh, it's okay. So you like, you're fine. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And then when he texted me the answer of, I thought I liked your personality, but I didn't. I burst out crying, like crying. And you're probably wondering like, it's not that deep. Like, don't listen to them. I know. I don't, I don't listen to people half the time because their opinion gets declined. But this is something that I struggled with because I had this idea when I was younger to be like, don't be like anybody else. You gotta be cool. You gotta be like your own little thing. And that's how I was growing up. I don't really care that much anymore still, but this one broke me legit. And I cried to my mom and Lily. Lily and Luke are literally one of my closest friends. Same with Navy and the family. Lily was like, hey, it's okay. Like, let me do your hair and makeup. I was like, thank you. And then Luke was like comforting me and telling me like he's not worth it you know all that brotherly stuff they were all just helping me which made me feel a lot better after that whole thing i still went to dance with him really and the thing is i wasn't rude to him at all that day because i was like maybe he's going through something maybe he's just not right i just felt really sad that night just because he told me that my person like he didn't like my personality but everybody has a preference so <laughs> and that was the day with 
You couldn't understand a word I just said because I was squealing. But it was funny because the dance is called preference and I said everybody has a preference. See, I can make light of a situation. So I did make light of it and I said, you know what? I settled for the bare minimum. Minimum. I deserve better and I know I do. So it was a good experience, but just know it will not be happening again. That happened, that was my date. But the thing is, I'm not gonna be one of those people that think you don't need a man. You don't need one. Girl, if you want one, go get one. Listen, I'm not dissing on this guy. He's a great guy, but I just wish he, he could have handled or worded things better. This is a lot and I'm still on the same subject. Oh, I forgot to do that. Pro tip, do that with your eyes so you can get your eye buddies out. But practically, um, yeah. Well, I should probably use this so I don't like look like a goon doing that in the window. If I say you look really pretty and you don't wear makeup, please do not make it your whole personality. Meaning, if somebody gives you a compliment, why take that compliment, you know what I'm saying? All I gotta say in summary is, be kind, love everyone. And you know, live life. Because the thing is, you only have one of them. All right, guys, this is my finished date look. I just added a little bit more color, but yeah, on to the next one. Here, Navy. Thanks, Sadie. Let's get started. My first step is skincare. First things we use is this. Oh my gosh, put it on my face. I just like put it everywhere. Oh, that is my first step that I do. We use Ordinary Serum, Solution 12, the Acid 2%, we use this, and then we use Moisturizer. Solution 12% one, and I just like kind of put it everywhere. Now, Acid 2% thingy. And then the next thing I use is this. This stuff is so good. It has a strong scent to it, but it has helped my skin so much. Like it makes your skin so smooth. The moisturizer that I use is the Ultra Facial Cream by Kiwis. I don't know if that's how you say it. I love this one because it also keeps my skin hydrated throughout the whole day. Now that we are all done with my skincare, we are going to prime my face. And I just put this primer everywhere on my face. I don't really know what it does. I think it's supposed to like keep your makeup on or something. All right. First thing for makeup, I just like like little simple makeup items. So the only thing I wear is skin tint and blush and eyebrows. I basically put this stuff on. I love this. Like this stuff, it boosts my confidence right as I get ready. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like you guys need to get it. And I looked up the day and it actually was sold out on Sephora, but you can find it on Ulta. It's the Lancome Skin Feel Good. With that, I also put the bronzing drops on. I basically just do the skin tint, which does look like foundation, but it is not. It actually is like sunscreen, which I love because it's always good to wear sunscreen. Our base layer is done. It does look like a little like wonky right now because I swear I say this every time, but the lighting is always terrible in my room. Like it doesn't look like my actual face. Okay, so we just put on our skin tint. Next step is we are going in with our Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I love this stuff. Chef's kiss. I only do like a little bit of this. I just put it everywhere, like to make my face just look tan. I know that's probably not what it's for, but that's how I use it. So. All right, guys, we are all done with our bronzer. And I usually love to like set my base layer before I like start blushing stuff so that this base will just stay like all day. And it actually works. Oh, um, set my face with this and then do my blush. I will do all that and then I do it again. I just barely put this on my lips to give it a little hint to match my cheeks. I just put it in these places, brush it out, and it looks good. A highlighter from Rare Beauty. This is also really good. It's very pigmented, so I only use a little bit. I only put it on the tip of my nose, because then I just like spread it out evenly. We are going to be doing my eyelashes. Telescopic, and then I use the Milani. Good eyelash day today. All right, guys, I'm all done. Got our hair done, makeup's done, everything's done. All right, now I need to pass this brush to my sister. Oh, thanks, Nubi, you look so cute. So my makeup and skincare is really simple, so let's get started. I like to start with Bubble. For my first routine on my skincare, I start with my bounce back bounciness from Bubble. Perfect. Now we mix all of my moisturizers. So I have Fortini Moisturizer Cream from Drunk Outfit, Bubble Concert from Bubble, <laughs> and then Level Up from Bubble. Lala Retro from Drunk Outfit. Let's mix them all. Okay, so I just did my personal cream. This is what it looks like. Now I gotta put my dew drops in. 
Oh, most of it is dew drops now, but it's okay. Ah, oh, it's really gooey. It's real, real gooey. I put up my eyelids so that my eyelids are not just dry and every else spot is moisturized. Check my eyelids. You look like I got moisturizer on my lips. <laughs> oh yeah, I need one of these. Now, one more time, my bounce back bounciness. Now time for my makeup. Elf Halo Glow. You have wonder. This, I just got one, two, on the one. This, this, and then this. I just gotta like, go like this, on the sides. Don't mind my mouth, this is not freaking good. I like this a lot. That was a lot. Taking all this product and giving it on my neck. Just don't mind why I'm so tan because I got a spray tan, so my blush time. One, two, three, let it out. Now go. Just gotta do this exactly like this. Boop, bidee, boop. After her blush out, before it dries, perfect. My cookie highlighter. That was a lot of a hit. I'll go like this. Oh, that was a lot. I just like dab it sometimes if I put too much on. I dab, looks perfect. It's time for my brows. My brows are really bad, guys. I just have to redo this one. Sometimes I don't even do my eyebrows, but I had to because my you cannot see my eyebrows, and I need my eyebrows to be shiny. Get eyebrow. I love when this one turns out better than the other. Second is the best. I grab this and I use my brows. Like a few months ago, I did not know what the stuff is, but now I do. Comment down below what's your favorite word. My favorite word to say is bro. I love my words. Now I do my lashes. First, I start with my sky high. Crossley Paisley introduces me into all this stuff. I have bronzing drops, but I didn't want to use them because I already look really tan. Second one I use is I Love Extreme. It's the best mascara I've ever used, bruh. Bruh, bruh. Now if I have mascara, I'm gonna have a little bit of mascara on the top of my eyelid, and I just go like this. Cause I use my makeup remover. Oh, and then if I get it in my hair, I use my makeup remover. Now I use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Let that set for a second. Now I use this um, setting powder. That might be good. Now I put on my powder. I use all of it. Just put it everywhere. And then when I have like barely any, I got this. I got this. I forgot to put on my lip gloss. Bro, why is it not wanting to open? Why is it not opening? Is there anything else? Okay, never mind. This we're not putting on lip gloss. All right, guys, this is the final look. Hopefully you guys liked it. All right, Lily, it's your turn. Thanks, Elsie, you look so cute. All right, let's get started. All right, my first step is skincare. I gotta hurry and put on this headband to keep my hair out of my face. So first I use this. We're doing some skincare. I've upgraded my skincare, guys, just so you all know. It kind of smells low-key, kind of weird. Then I use this. That was a little crazy. Oh, that was kind of a lot. Just rub it all. Don't mind my hands, it's fake tan. Got a spray tan the other day. It's starting to wash off of my hands. And some glow recipe. First of all, it smells so good, but it also, I feel like, really makes me just glow. So it's really living up to its name. All right. Then we use two ordinary products. Take that out, put this on my hands. I know most people just put it on their face, but I feel like I always put too much. When I put drops all over my face, so I like to do it on my hands. It always turns out being perfect. Then the second ordinary on our hands. All right, now we rub. Then the second last step is I use this. I know you're not supposed to use this every day, only supposed to like put on your acne, but I low key put it everywhere on my face. I feel like it just really helps. And then I put on this moisturizer after. I feel like it's really been helping. It does smell like baby food though. Kind of like baby poop, not gonna lie. But I feel like it really does help. So I use it every morning and night. I'm gonna rub this in and then we'll do moisturizer. Last but not least, moisturizer. It's kind of like the drunk elephant one because it has this little pump thing, but this one is so so thick and so moisturizing. Like, I love this. It just feels so nice on my skin. 
get it all in there. All right, now that we are done with skincare, it is now time for our makeup. First things first is we got our primer. Make sure our makeup is staying all day, every day. And it's nice how it's like a rolling applicator. It's kind of like a massage little key. Then I go in with my Summer Fridays sunscreen, and then I mix it with some say. Then I mix those two at the same time. Then I go in with some Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. This stuff is amazing. This is like one of the Drunk Elephant products that I do recommend that I really like. Now I go in with both these e.l.f. Halo Glows. So we'll just put some of this one. All right. So just like a dot of this one because you don't want too much. Then we blend. Now that we got that on, it is time for some concealer. I go in with this makeup by Mario. Love this stuff. I just put on like any blemishes. So, so I'm on my chin, my T-zone, of course the eyes, and then just like anywhere that has some pimples. All right, and then we blend. So now that that is all blended, I go in with Wonder Stick Contour. Down here. And then blend it out again. Then I like to go in with this. I just like put it over the spots that I kind of had. And so just like where I get the most shiny. And then I'll take this brush and get some of it and just like go down right here. Because I always get so shiny right there. Then like by the nose. And then also under the eyes. Then a new step I've started adding is adding um, setting spray after I do like all the creams and everything. It's nice. Just to help it say, and then I'll do setting spray again after I'm done with the whole makeup, so. I've heard it works better. After we do that, we gotta do our eyebrows. We're just finishing up the brow. I feel like we're having a pretty good brow day. It's a sleigh brow day. All right, now that we've finished our brows, I go in with this Patrick Ta. Oh, hey, you can see me, hey. And I take this big brush, and we just go like this, and we're just gonna like, Put some bronzer all around, just like our forehead, all around those areas, down here. So it's kind of like bronze up our face. This is probably my favorite step, honestly. And then I use this powder that I put all over my face. Now I go in with this cheek blush and we blend. We go over with some Mario cheek blush. Oh, we just put some of this. Last but not least, we gotta do some setting spray. Voila! All right, taking off the headband, fluff the hair, and this is our final look. All right, Presley, this is for you. Woo! Thanks, Lily. Okay, guys, it's my turn. Let me use this one. This is the, I'm just gonna use it. Kind of did a little bit of it, but I have a little more. This is from Glorisby. I just used another Glorisby bar, but this one is their Dark Spot Serum. This is from Tire 28. This is their serum. I love this stuff. So like moisturizing and like nice on my skin. Then I'm gonna use my bubble moisturizers. I have three. I have the Slam Dunk, the Cloud Serp, and then the Level Up. They look how nice they are. They're so nice. Drug of like, dupes. You only have to pump a little bit. I'm gonna mix them on this one. I love makeup and skincare. Now we're gonna use the Drunk Elephant, it's the Lala Whip Cream. Like this, I have to take it out because there's like no product. There's product in it, but it won't pump out anymore. So what I've been doing is I have to open this. This is an awesome pump, and I love these pumps. This is very hydrating, and I love that about it. I like sticking this like little um, eyebrow brush in it. I would be making a skincare smoothie, but I can't because it doesn't pump anymore. Then I'm gonna use this. It's amazing, okay. Then I'm gonna use this Sweet Friday's one. This is the one more gel-like, and then this one's way more creamier. The moisturizer is a Charlotte Tilbury one. This one is literally so amazing. I love it so much. I've been mixing them too, and I love the way it feels. I never thought to mix them, but I like, yesterday I forgot to use this, and I was like really wanting to. I was doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, and I mixed them. <laughs> Moisturizer and my favorite one is the Tatcha one. This one is actually so amazing. It's like your skin, but better. It's also like watery. And it's just like amazing. This is in shade Star Glow. These two primers. This primer is so good. I like to use the Elf one though under my eyes. The Elf Halo Glow. 
goes for like the coverage. This one for the glowiness, and then this one for like just it's pretty. Oh, I folded my eyebrows. Guys, look at it. So I just spray the pan thing, and then I grab my brush, and I'm gonna like. We're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Fellow Sculpture. This stuff is actually so amazing. It makes you like so glowy. We usually blend things out with a beauty blender instead of a brush. This brush also looks amazing. I didn't get my beauty blender wet. I don't know if that's a bad or good thing. I haven't been getting it wet actually lately at all. Okay, then this is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop stuff. This stuff also gives me a little bit of coverage. I love this blush. It's, well, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is, guys. Gorgeous! I like use a little bit right here on my like chin. I don't know. Now I'm gonna do a little more powder blush. And also a little more powder bronze. I'll use the sh I was gonna say Sean Silver. I'm gonna use a Patrick Ta. Alright, powder highlighter, my cookie. My, obviously I love this highlighter so much. Yeah, like, I wanna try putting on this side. And also I need to put some bronze on. I need this, some powder on. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna actually put some of this right here. I feel like it's really pretty and it might look good. Now I'm gonna do one it out. I'm trying to keep my mouth closed while I do this. Now for mascara. This purple one by Tara Tweed is really good. Charlotte Silvery Lip Liner, if I can find it. Let me use this one. I'm gonna mix these two. So first I'm gonna do this one. Has such a pretty finish. And then I'm gonna add some of this over it. Just to make it a little extra glossy. Setting spray. Okay, that be fast. Okay. A little more lip gloss. I'm gonna add some liner. Mascara, mon mascara. Okay guys, this is my final look. I'm done. I get it, Sadie, okay? I know Sadie was trying to make us share this makeup brush so that we wouldn't fight, but I'm telling you this time, please, like, if you still my makeup one more time, there will be consequences. Here you go. Okay, Presley, I'm last. Presley, why did you just do that? Let's get started. Okay, guys, my first step is primer. So the, let me grab it. This is the Refi Primer. I love this. I also love this Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. No, I use this first and this second. Second. Okay, we're gonna get some clips. We're gonna clip, oh, I look a little funky, but that's okay. We're gonna clip back my hair. I already did all my skincare and like sunscreen and stuff, so we are just gonna get straight into this. You guys want like a full like makeup routine, like skincare included, can give you guys that, because I have changed my routine so much, so it's really different now. But after this, we just swirl this on, and I love this stuff, works so well. These are like all like the two things I I use, but I'm gonna use some of the Say stuff in Star Glow. This is just another like glowy thing. I like love to have that glowy makeup. So the first thing I do though is I curl my eyelashes. I use this Shishedu eyelash curler. I love this one so much. It's like one of the best and I know it is like kind of pricey, but it's still a really good eyelash curler. Like you could probably get more better ones. But what I do is I curl my eyelashes like once and then I curl it one more time. I know I look a little scary guys. We're just gonna ignore that. And then while we're waiting for this to like, those to kind of like fall down, I guess, we're gonna actually get into makeup. So after like all those skincare things, I just go in with one more sprint of this Milani setting spray and then I'm just gonna take just a little bit of this flawless filter. Half of my makeup I use is from Sephora. We're just gonna blend that in. This is the time I curl my eyelashes one more time. I'm just gonna, gonna brush them out. I take the brow side of this. I take this side and I kind of just... Now I do bronzer and I take this Chanel one. Guys, I cannot recommend you guys this product so much. Like, it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys over. Right, right there. I just take this and I just, like, kind of put it, like, on my cheek. And I take this super bronzer and I just, like, go like that. And then I, like, rub it off because if it's too much. And I just go like that. And then we're done with bronzer. I love, love this Benefit, guys. It's so good. I just take, like, a couple drops of it because it's like really subtle but it's like a really pretty pink and then i take this fenty beauty cream blush petal poppin and then sometimes i would go in with this 
makeup by Mario and shade Earthy Pink. My whole makeup routine is basically blush. But yeah, that's like my whole makeup routine. But now we're gonna like just kind of do my eyelashes. So I just brush them out with any brush. And then you take your mascara. These are like my favorite, like I totally recommend products. These are all from L'Oreal, the original telescopic. This one from Benefit, my favorite out of all of these is the Milani Make It Last. Yeah, mascara is done. Makeup is done. So guys, like this is all I really do. Then I just take my Q-tip and wipe off. Okay guys, this is the final look. It turned out so good. And Presley, consequences really?